Mr. Unboxers here. Um, I just got back from PAX last week. Just getting around to doing the video for all the swag that I got. Most of it was free. I think I bought uh, I bought two items and um, I'll let you know what those are. And then all the shirts that I show, I have two of except for two. And I'll let you know what ones those are. Um, now starting out for the shirts, we got a play seat shirt which um, I only have, that's one of the shirts that I only have one of. Um, my wife went with me, so we were able to get two of a lot of the stuff. Um, we got an Assassin's Creed 3. Actually, we got two of these. Um, as you can see, it says Assassin's Creed 3 on the back as well. Um, that's a real nice shirt. A lot of these I actually like a lot. Um, this is The Walking Dead. Um, they had a booth there for the third episode. Um, we have two of those. Borderlands, they gave the blue ones out on the second day. They gave yellow ones out on the first day. Um, we have two of those. We actually have two of each of those. We got the blue ones when we went to the gearbox panel. Um, then we got, I only have one of these. Uh, Marvel Heroes, we have two of those as well, and that, then we start, uh, I'm showing these ones last because we actually got to meet uh, David Eddings and uh, Randy Pitchford, as you can see, had him sign the front, had him sign the back, that is the voice of Claptrap, so he wanted to sign there, but that's one of the yellow ones that we got. Um, the other yellow one is also signed, but that's signed on the back alone. Uh, you got Randy Pitchford, and you got David Eddings. Um, also, for going to the Gearbox panel, they gave us um, season passes for all the download content. Um, once again, I got two, one for one because of my wife and then one because of me. Um, we're, we actually got uh, caught um, Mike Newman as he was leaving the panel and had him sign the back of these. Um, and for those of you that don't know, he is the voice of Scooter. So that's those. Um, then we also got, well, I got, it was a walnut hat. For pop or for uh, pop cap z games for Plants vs Zombies, um, so I was the only one that got that out of the group of four of us that went because the line was just so ridiculously long. I was walking by when it was short. We got two Epic Mickey uh, pins. We got a Zombie U hat. I actually got to play that. It was actually pretty fun. Um, then I got oh, a shank temporary tattoo. We got avatar items for Colonial Marines, avatar item for Dishonored. Um, I don't know how much this art book varies from the collector's edition. I haven't really taken a look too much, but they had the art book and a little DVD for Batman Arkham City. Um, what else? I got a little zombie plush. Um, I got Eat Munchies pins. I did get some lanyards, but those aren't real important. No, I'm getting close because I got these PAX Challenge coins that you had to uh, order off the forums. I actually have two of these, one for me, one for my wife. Um, the guy that made these was actually uh, one of the guys that we went with, and... Um, you had to order these off the forums for five dollars, but he was nice enough to print two of these for us. Um, we didn't have to pay him, so I really, really appreciated that he did that for us. 
Um, these things are so awesome. Not only is it um, memory for packs, but it's also a memory for um, Seattle. We're from, we're from Michigan, so you know the fact that it says Seattle, Washington, it has the Pikes Place Public Market Center is just awesome. Um, so that is uh, that's those challenge coins. Um, Dead Island Steel Bucks. I know they're not all so rare, but this one, in case you can't notice, is signed by the Deep Silver team. Um, I won one. Later that night, my wife got an email saying she won one. So they gave out a hundred of these total, and we ended up with two. Uh, one of the guys that we went with had one as well. So, um, Guitar Hero Van Halen, super duper. I do not have a Guitar Hero controller. <laughs> I guess I could play with a regular controller, but um, I got uh, booth for or, uh, flyer for Twixted, Twisted Pixel, uh, the booth. Plants vs. Zombies, uh, magnets, sorry for the brain fart. We got a couple magazines from the uh, swag bag. Um, now, these figures, these are the two things I had to buy. Um, the colored one, there was 300 of them made. Um, it actually is a hefty uh, statue. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's real well designed. Um, the black and white one, there were only um, 100 of these made. So, once again, real, real nice, real nice quality. And they were only $40 a piece. And as the collector I am, I couldn't res I bought the black and white. And then I went back the next day and bought the colored. And when I went and bought the colored, um, Jeff Algala was there, and he signed the box for the colored one. I ran back to the hotel room and got my black and white one signed as well. So now we're looking at two signed boxes and two figures, which are awesome. Now, I've got also... I. I want a Fruit Ninja Xbox 360 that was just complete shock. I didn't see that the high score for Fruit Ninja was a competition for an Xbox 360. I went in there, I blew the competition away. I got, I think, 694, and the closest one was 530, and nobody came close the whole day to, to that. And, uh, yeah, I... I got this, which is just, I mean, I was so stoked, and I still am. I mean, it's a free Xbox. Um, so if my other one dies, I got a backup. Now, that about completes it. I really had a great time at PAX, and so did my wife. She actually said that we're going to end up going to East, so I'm real excited about that, too. Um, there is one more thing for those of you that want to hold on. It'll be probably 30 seconds. I got it. It's actually a pretty cool piece. It's not for me. It was for my wife. Um, she really, really uh, likes it. I don't like Disney characters. It's from Epic Mickey, and it's a great piece of swag if you like Disney. So I'll be right back. But for those of you that are taking off right now, thanks for watching. Tune in Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll be doing Ultimate, Board, or Ultimate Loot Chest Edition. Of Borderlands 2. Um, for those of you that are waiting, thank you. I'll be right back. Now, at the Epic Mickey 2 booth, they had Disney artists that would draw you a sketch. As you can see, it is signed and dated. And she wanted Minnie Mouse, so she got that drawn. I, on the other hand, 
I mean, yeah, I could have sold the drawing on eBay and whatnot, but that's not what, I, what I'm about. I'm not about making a profit off other people. I mean, yeah, it would have been free. We would have had to get it home and all that, whatever. But I don't like Disney. She didn't want the extra one, so I got I, the one I had drawn. I gave it to my buddy that I was with who lived in Washington. He kept it. So, But this is her. She framed it. She put it in the spare bedroom. It looks real nice in the frame. I'm glad that she got this. This is the one thing she really likes from PAX. Um, but now that, that really is everything from PAX that I, I ended up bringing home except for the swag bags that nobody really, you know, ooh, swag bag. Um, just the bags themselves. What you see is most of the content from it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I really had a great time. I can't wait to go to East. Um, we're already planning the trip. Um, so, once again, for those of you that stuck around for this, um, real good job. Um, they, they did awesome. Uh, my wife loves it. You know, it's, it's the one thing that she got to bring home that she, from PAX anyway, that she really, uh, really enjoyed. Um, but thanks again for watching. Tune in probably Tuesday or Wednesday for the, uh, Ultimate Loot Chest Edition unboxing. And take care.